do you have? A little bit of money? That's it? You have a short little life and you're just going to live it up, living ungodly, and you think you're going to go to God's holy heaven? No, sir, you're going to go to hell. And God, in his mercy, is reaching out to you and he is warning you. Don't go to hell. Get right with God. Don't be materialistic. Don't keep going after the things of this world. And at the end of your life, you die without salvation and you go to hell. For there is only one way of salvation, sir, and it's Jesus. Amen. Jesus died for your sins, sir. But you're getting old. You need to come to God. You need to run to Jesus. Your life is coming to an end. And at the end of your life, you're going to be judged by God. And God in His mercy is reaching out to you. God in His mercy warns you to repent. Repent and get right with Jesus. Turn to God. God offers you eternal life. God offers you salvation, sir. But you really have to come to Jesus. Don't deny the salvation of God. You only get one life and you're not promised tomorrow. Death can come to you today, sir. Death can come to you today. And if you die without salvation, you will go to hell. But the good news is you're still alive. You can still get right with God. You can say, God, I don't want to go to hell. You can come to Jesus, confess your sin, and say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I have sinned against you, God, and I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die for my sin. I believe that Jesus rose from the dead on the third day. And I ask for forgiveness. You can ask God for forgiveness today. You don't have to keep living ungodly and unholy. You don't have to keep living your life on the Broadway that leads to hell. You can come to God. You can repent. God is offering you eternal life through the salvation of His Son, Jesus. Don't die without forgiveness from God. Don't die in your sin and go to hell. Because when you go to hell, it's too late. When you go to hell, there's no second chances in hell. Hell is a place of torture and torment. Hell is a place where the worm never dies and the fire never quenches. So, if you die today and you go to hell, a thousand years from now, you're going to still be in hell where the fire is never quenched. Run to Jesus. Lay your sin down at the foot of the cross and come to Jesus while you hear the preaching of God's word being preached. Do not harden your heart because judgment is coming. God is going to judge your life. And your only way of hope is Jesus. Your only way of hope is to come to God and repent and believe on the Lord. The Bible says that anyone who believes on the Lord, they will be saved. But you have to believe on the Lord from a sincere heart. If not, ma'am, you're going to hell. You and your buddy. You're going to hell too. No, ma'am, I'm right with God. You need to get right with God. Turn to Jesus. Yes, sir. You amen Why don't you come over here and talk to me, sir? Why don't you come over here and talk to me, Mr. Amen Man? God is offering forgiveness, but they have a lot of prideful American people. They are prideful in their freedoms. They're prideful because they got a little bit of money, and you are letting your pride deceive you. You are letting the devil deceive you to hell. And God in his mercy, he's trying to get your attention. Don't let the devil deceive you to hell. 
don't let the de devil deceive you and blind your mind from the salvation of Jesus. Repent while you hear the preaching of God's word. Turn away from that drunkenness. The Bible says no drunkard will inherit God's kingdom. All drunkards will inherit hellfire. And you don't want to go to hell. God doesn't want you to go to hell. But you have to repent. You have to turn to Jesus. For there is no other name given amongst men that we can be saved, but it is only through Jesus, sir.